You know, I'm, I'm still surprised. Um, I, I did call the Endeavor play early on. I think I was one of the few people that, that called that one. But nevertheless, still surprised. I, I didn't think I would see the day when Vince McMahon would actually sell WWE. And apparently that's what's happened. How hard of a decision do you think that was? I know there was a lot you know, going on behind the scenes, but this has been a family business of theirs for a long time. It has, and, and and I guess that's what surprises me so much. I was thoroughly convinced that at the end of the day, I, I really thought that Vince would make a move to take the company private. That was going to be the play that I predicted, really. Um, but to to sell the company, it's still surprising me it, it, to this day. I just never would have, I never would have bet on that. Endeavor, we saw what they did. Uh, purchasing the UFC and and their business, their plan, their model really hasn't changed. Should we expect anything different from WWE under, you know, new ownership? Oh, you, you, look, there's always going to be change, right? I, I don't think we're going to see anything over the next six months or a year that will be noticeable to us. There may be some management um, announcements made along the way and things like that. But for the most part, I think it's going to be business as usual for, for quite some time. Someone told me once when I went through the, the merger at Turner, Time Warner, AOL, that you really don't notice the cultural impact of a merger or a sale for at least a year or 18 months after the fact. That's when you start really noticing the difference. So I, I suspect we'll see business as usual for the next 12 months or so. We've seen athletes cross over we've seen the brock lesnar's and the ronda rousey's of the world kane velasquez is that something you think that the company could take advantage of whether it's performing or at least just you know showing up on each other's product you know we've seen a lot of that over the years i don't know how much value that really has for both companies it would make sense that we'll see more of it but i i, I think the real tangible benefits that we'll be seeing down the road are going to be synergies that are going to be, you know, you look at the WWE business model, you look at the UFC business model. They're two separate businesses. One is, one is fictional storytelling. The other is sport, but there are a lot of similar, there are a lot of similar, there are a lot of parallels within their business plan. You now you've got live events arena events, you've got pay-per-view, you've got streaming, you've got ad sales, you've got international television rights, you've got licensing, you've got merchandising, you've got a lot of areas that I think UFC could benefit from the maturity that WWE has in some of those, some of those businesses. You know, UFC is still a relatively new business and WWE has been around for decades and decades and has, you know, really has a sophisticated business model so I think you're going to see a lot of uh, benefits to UFC as a result of the relationship with with uh, WWE. WWE has had such a, a stronghold on the industry other than 83 weeks, which you know very well. Does this do anything in the in the landscape of the, you know, the wrestling world? We know AEW is trying to push them. Does this change anything at all? I don't think so. You know, I, I, I think WWE has proven that sports entertainment, AKA professional wrestling is indeed a viable global media phenomenon. I think that AEW is in a perfect position to take advantage of that and, and benefit from what a from what WWE has done, just like WCW did, you know, WCW benefited tremendously from a, a lot of the pioneering that WWE had done prior to WCW's success I think AEW is in kind of the same position. Last thing for you, and I know you were surprised, but at the end of the day, good move for Vince, good move for the company? I think it, I think it was a good move. I think it was time for the company to take that next step, whatever that next step will ultimately be. But I think the combined strength of UFC and, and WWE and Endeavor, look, Endeavor's a powerhouse in their own right. There's going to be a lot of opportunity that is born out of the fact that Endeavor 
you know, is the owner of this new UFC WWE company. So I, I think there's going to be a lot of exciting things. It's a great time to be in, in the sports entertainment business, whether that be in, in UFC or WWE or AEW for that matter. I think it's going to be an exciting time, and I look forward to the next couple of years to see what develops.